Linear fusion rifle test. Let's go. Let's see how they feel. I hope I hit zero people this entire match. Zero. It is post-linear fusion nerf, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going in with a Lorenz driver into a showdown match to see how it feels. Good, I got flinched! I got flinched! Did you see that? I, that would not have been a flinch before. I got flinched real good right there. One minute left. Good, good. I'm liking it. It doesn't feel that great yet. Is it somebody else? That flinch was wild! This is such good news so far. I just got flinched to shit right there. I've got unflinching on too. I've got unflinching on. Shit, he's using our blows, so it worked well for him. They have the flinch to like 4x of sniper rifles? I hope so. Switch to Arby? I mean, dude, let me just keep playing this one. I might want to leave Showdown and go play like Control or something, though. Getting very, very few opportunities for good actual tries. That flinch is good! That flinch is very good! I'm liking this a lot. When they stand still, shots still hit. Okay, I got flinched and almost landed a headshot. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, he shot me the exact same time that I fired. That would happen with a sniper too. Like on his screen, he's bitching, bitching about flinching, but I didn't get flinched till after I had shot on my screen. So I don't think that that was really a flinch issue. That right there was. Dude, yes. That that was a latency issue, the previous fight, not a flinch issue. People get the two confused. Like if you are aiming at somebody and you both shoot at the same time, you're both going to hit your shot and then you're both going to get flinched after hitting your shot. Like right there. That was a latency thing. That was a flinch thing. Like if you look at the two back to back, those are literally different instances. First thing, latency. We fired at the same time. So our shots hit, then we get flinched. Latency problem. That will happen with any weapon. Then the second thing was a flinch problem where I started to get shot before I had fired and my flinch went to shit, which is great. That's what we want. I like this. I, I think that I think this is actually going to be a relatively significant change. Will snipers be meta again? No, you're still going to get flinched to shit with snipers too. Nice, dude. Is he using a linear? Yeah, my dude. Ew, Falcon linear. Fuck off, dude. Come on now. Enemy claimed zone A. I don't like that I landed that body shot. Better than a headshot though. Fuck. I'm rooting for this not to be good, but though that that was good. Arbalist felt strong in those first two fights. Okay, let's go for it. Still feels pretty easy to land your shots. Uh, don't tell me that they made it. They, they, oh, man. I don't want Arbalist to still be really good. It might still be really good. Lorenz felt kind of wacky, realistically. I might have just been in a good lobby, though. Like, those guys were good players. Okay, I missed an easy shot on Fallout to start that engagement. Good. The more I miss, the happier I am right now. Good. Good. I need to go find some ammo. Don't take my ammo! Oh, good. I feel like that could have given me a headshot in previous metas. Good, good. Flinch me, daddy. But then I can still come back and re-challenge. Linears are still going to be strong. I, get, I feel like I can sort of make that conclusion right now. But the most oppressive part about them, the whole like you're shooting them and just get fucking destroyed anyway, might actually not happen. Arbalist still feels pretty easy to hit your shots. But again, the most oppressive thing about them was getting fucking shot at and then they still hit you in the head anyway. And it kind of seems like there's a chance that that's actually going to be a lot better. Chad, I have linear fusion targeting on. I have linear fusion I'm flinching on. I am kitted. That was a pretty good headshot. I'm rooting for just me missing everything. Good. I got flinched to shit there by ball sweat. You all have to see it. Ball sweat hit in the middle of the dodge. Not good. Oh, I got to reload. I was so ready to try to shoot that guy with flinch. Damn it. They made it easier to hit headshots since the flinch is capped. What the fuck does that mean? I think it's a little bit too easy for people to be forming just like super serious opinions already. It's been 20 minutes. I feel like that could have given me headshots in the past. Oh my god, what's going on? 
Good little, good little flinch there. I like it. Getting shot to shit. Could not get that reticle back on that guy. You absolutely love to see it. <laughs> oh, man. People paid to watch Fallout get fucked that close live. I gotta see that for free. I want to continue to experiment with linears. I want proof that they suck horse wang now. I don't think they do that. It's a good tornado. All right, good game, good game, good game. I'm liking it so far. It feels like Arbalist is not great. Linears are still going to be strong. The aim assist still feels good. But yes, when you get shot, oh my God, is it hard to hit your shots. I'm ready. Linears. I got flinched into that guy, but that was just random. I'm going to get destroyed and lose this brick game. Like, I just am pushing too hard. I need to treat it like it matters. Then I'll actually get more linear opportunities. Just running at everybody is not the play. I think I missed. That wasn't a headshot? No, that was the first, like, forgiving shot from a linear I've had so far, though. That was, uh, that was a weird one. I got flinched. That was a headshot. And it was like, nah, dude. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. Ball says to aim at the dick and crotch and the flinch will give you a headshot. But see, okay. That kind of... I, I feel like that's silly. Like, okay, let me try to start aiming at people's dicks. So what? If they don't shoot you, then you miss your headshot? Like, you're going in expecting them to be aiming at your... Like, I don't know. I'll try to start aiming at their dicks. That was at his dick. I got flinched and it went like 15 feet to the right above him. All right, wiener, wiener aiming. Wiener aiming. Okay, wiener aiming and got flinched again 15 feet up and to the right. I really feel like, at least with Lorenz, I am getting flinched insanely well, which is great news. I feel like every time I'm in a fight, I just get dominated by flinch, which is really good news. If you aim for the dick and they don't shoot at you, then you just land a body shot for no reason. If you aim at their head and they shoot you, you're not going to hit them. It's still going to be a good weapon for just hitting headshots when you're not in fights. Though. Like that, you know? It's still going to be good for that. And again, he shot me as I shot him. That's a latency thing. It's not a flinch thing. People get that mixed up all the time. That was a flinch. Imagine. It's still going to be S tier with Kefries. I still think Linears will be good with Kefries. But I'm telling you, the most impressive part about Linears is the flinch. And it feels a lot better to me. Still good to hit headshots with. You're winning. Stay strong. But did you see that crazy ass fucking flinch? Oh, that was wild right there. You have advantage. Like, dude, it's, like if I have a sniper in my hands, I'm probably hitting that shot too. I think I'd still hit that with a snipe too. Let me give a breakdown on linears through a couple of games of fucking around a little bit with Arbalus and with linear with uh, Lorenz. Linears are still very strong with regards to hitting headshots. When you are aiming at someone's head and they don't shoot you, you're probably gonna land a headshot. I know it's like that with any weapon, but it feels still a little bit sticky with linears. It does feel a little sticky with linears to me. However, in my opinion, the by far most oppressive part of linears was that you felt like you couldn't challenge them. Because if you slid in and you shot them with your hand cannon, you shot them with your SMG, you shot them with your sidearm, it wouldn't fucking matter 80% of the time they would snipe you anyway. To me, through my two or three games of experimenting, having used a lot of linears this last weekend on Bannerfall, that feels so much better. It feels literally almost fixed, I might say. To me, so far, only a few games. Keep in mind, we're only 30 or so minutes into it. I am getting flinched to shit by everything. When I'm aiming at their head and I start to charge, this weekend, they would shoot me with a sidearm. It would still blast them in the head 80% of the time. Today, pew, into the sky, pew, way up into the air. I think flinch is a lot better. I think linears are going to be a lot less oppressive. I think they're still going to be very good, which sucks because they're just good, easy headshot weapons. I think they're still going to be utilized with Kefri Sting a lot because if you can see where people are and you've got a weapon that's really easy to land headshots with, it's going to make it so you feel a ton of confidence in going around and pre-charging right where they are. So I still think these are going to be strong. I still think they're going to be utilized, but I think the most oppressive and annoying part of them, the flinch, may actually be fixed. Huge aerial aim assist on Hunter. Arby's the play. All right, dude. You guys motherfucking ready for some Arbalist gameplay? I'm going to start hopping around like a psychopath. I'm a fuck bitches. Let's go. 
There's so much misinformation on Twitter. But somebody posted a clip of a guy standing still in front of you and you knowing exactly what was going to happen and the shot landed on the one of their 20 takes and then they showed us the one take where it landed. So Bungie doesn't know what they're talking about. Fuck Bungie, can't believe they didn't actually nerf it. I thought they did nerf Linears. No, dude, I saw a clip on Twitter. There were 19 takes they didn't show, but on the 20th take where they stood still in front of each other, the shot still landed. So therefore, I am 100% sure. So like, I'm literally just gonna start hopping around like a bunny and just hoping to miraculously pull off headshots. Yeah, my KDA about to go to fucking <laughs> Who's this idiot hunter who can't get a single kill? Yeah, Arbalist inaccuracy was always okay. Like, it doesn't, I don't understand why this would ever be the play. He's doing it too. Hey, did you see me get flinched to shit while jumping there? But Jake, I saw a clip where they still hit him. I don't think like there being good inner accuracy is gonna mean a single thing here. Because again, good inner accuracy was always a thing with Arbalest, I believe. And why would it ever make sense to be jumping around instead of just staying grounded? It doesn't make it easier to land a headshot on controller when you're flying around. That shot did not go where I was aiming. That shot apparently missed. Even though it just like straight up didn't. What about Warlock floating? Who gives a fuck? Like why? Like even if you are able to land headshots with an Arbalus in air, like I don't think this is a big deal in any way at all. Like, okay, I don't think that proves anything. If I stayed on the fucking ground, they would have sniped that guy too. With, you know, 10 out of 10 times instead of five out of 10 times. Where did that shot go? Chat, clip it! Put that one clip on Twitter! Did you see Jake land a headshot while jumping? Oh my god, they broke Arbalist. It's now OP, they buffed it. Do you see the clip? Did you see body shot while jumping? They broke it. If he had been grounded, he would have landed that shot too, but because he jumped, they fucking buffed it, they broke it, it's over. Oh, did you see him get flinched like 45 feet downwards and to the left? No, but don't put that clip on Twitter, because that will make it look like it actually got nerfed. So don't 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 put that one on there. Oh look, he was aiming at his head and missed. It's almost like had that streamer been grounded, that one would not have missed. All right, I don't need to keep doing this. The point is concluded, dudes. When you jump with Arbalist, you can still land headshots, but your accuracy is absolutely lowered. So you can immediately cross that one off. Next on your clout farming Twitter post list, what's next? You get flinched to shit. Jumping definitely reduces accuracy. It's still possible to land shots, but it's easier when you're fucking grounded. What's next? Flinch to shit, let's go. Yeah, baby, that's what I like to see. I need to stand still, not move at all, and wait for someone to come to you to prove that this was a buff. All right, let's do it. Here, he's gonna come towards me. I'm ready. Fuck. Fuck, he flinched me twice. I don't understand. All right, in all honesty, Jap, Arbalist, Lorenz, when you get shot, it flinches a lot. When you jump, your accuracy does not go up. It goes down. Everybody who says otherwise is high as a motherfucking kite. And I'm sick of this Twitter bullshit where everyone thinks that they know the way. Still good at landing headshots if they don't shoot you. If, you're, if they don't shoot your ass, it's still good at landing headshots. But that's always been the case.